Hello, good evening, Reina. How are you doing? How's everything? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. You? Great to hear that. I'm doing really good too. Thank you so much for asking. Welcome. You are the first one. It's already eight. And the only one. Yeah, <laughs> so you're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to start with our session today, and I think Emma just joined. Emma is punctual as well, so she's here, and I'm so excited to be here for our session number four. Is it number four? Yeah, number four, and I wanted to say that we are going to have classes this Friday, this Friday. <laughs> Reason is because we didn't have classes last Friday because of the problem I had with the connectivity. So Insafor already contacted me and they say I have to do it on Friday, which means we have to have classes on Friday to make the hour up from previous class, okay? So that's gonna be just for you to know. I'm gonna let everybody know once they join to this session and well, welcome. I really hope you have had a great day i know you might have had many things to do but then you're here so um, how was your day emma it was good thanks and what about you my day was really cool i uh, like wake days i teach teenagers I teach kids, I'm working with first grade in the afternoons in a school, so it's just lovely. It requires a lot of energy though, but you know, it's, it's cool. Thank you so much for asking. And how, what about your studies? How are they going? Well, I think good. <laughs> and there are some things that are hard nowadays because we have to study a lot of things. We would have to learn about many things. That's why I think we need more time to practice. Right, I see. And are you going to learn how to fly airplanes or not? Is it part of your study? No, we just study to fix so that's a to have a, yes, it's, it's different, but we have to know many things about it because we have to prepare everything before to start the flight. Or before starting. Okay, great. I see. Well, uh, thank you so much because I don't know anything about that. <laughs> and I wanted to ask. Well, so thank you so much for joining in. Uh, we have our class number four. And welcome, Renato. Welcome, Jessica. Elflin is also here. So welcome. And this is our session number four. Let me just start sharing the screen for you to see it. Let's see. And today we're going to finish our first section, which is section one. And I'm expecting to start section two today, OK? And that's going to be um, at the end of this our, okay, so basically we have this and I want to ask you guys if you remember what we did on the previous class, what did, what did we talk about? Who remembers? Who can share with me? What did we do yesterday? Not much, a lot, reviewing. When I hear you, please. We were talking about our friends. Uh, we work in, in pairs and we do it like, uh, we were talking about <laughs> our friends. Yes, friends. That's what friends are for, to talk about them. But good things, not bad things. All right, thank you so much, Raina, for your contribution, for your ideas. And today I said that we were going to start a new topic. Who remembers what was the or what is this going to be about? The bird bells, the bird bells. 
adverbial clauses. Yes, we've been talking about clauses. We have said that a clause is. What is it? What is a clause? What have we said about this? Or what have you heard about a possible definition of a clause? What is a clause in grammar? What is it? Like a ruler? Hmm, okay. Any other idea? Maybe today nobody has seen the show. <laughs> I, don't, I don't see anybody. Are you guys tired? I feel like as if I'm only me in this class. And I think it's not fair you see me and I don't see you, but you know, how do you feel? Are you happy to be here? Are you sad? Are you tired? Are you hungry? Are you angry? What's your mood? You feel like as if you don't want to talk today. <laughs> what's a clause besides uh, the opinion just given? What's a clause? What is it? How can you define this? It's okay, you can just say whatever you think. It can be, no worries. Well, for those who haven't um, maybe heard or anything about it, let me tell you guys that I close in just a simple sentence. Okay. And we know that a clause is a sentence. So now that we know that a clause is a sentence, we can say that a sentence has one subject and one verb in its complement. Simple as that. Okay, we have been studying about um, relative clauses, relative pronouns, and we have said that we can combine two sentences into one. And that's what we, what we have been discussing. And uh, today we have uh, adverbial clauses. Nothing more than only uh, an, uh, only two clauses. This time joined by it and when. And when it says adverbial clauses, it refers to a condition, right? Uh, that we can um, say or we can express. Yesterday, I kind of like gave you an idea about this and some of you even provided me with some sentences, some examples. So once again, a clause is just a simple sentence which has a subject and a verb and its complement. And when it says other clauses, you know, it's just, you know, the name because it has a condition or it presses a condition or maybe describes a situation. Well, now let's get started with the, with this structure, today's structure. And what we really care about today's session is, Joel, can you read the objective for us, please? Sorry? What did you say, teacher, sorry? No problem, can you please read the objective we have on the screen? Yeah, sure. By the end of this class, participants will learn how to express likes and dislikes using clauses with it plus adverbial clauses with them with when so thank you so much so this is what we're talking clauses it's just simple sentences we have one clause with it and one which is going to be with when and the adverbial clause is just because it's expressing a situation you know belonging or um with the pronoun or the relative pronoun when. This is what, we, what we've been talking. Now, uh, let's get started and let's, let's start providing examples because I know you kind of like have an idea based on yesterday's or maybe based on what you have seen on the videos. All right, let's, let's talk about it. We have clauses with it and when. And uh, this is the formula I said to you yesterday if you can create one example using or sticking to this formula, right? Subject, verb, plus it. And then we have the second, which is when plus subject uh, plus, plus verb, 
okay? And now, let's do this. Please send me, no, let's do it the other way around. Please open your mic and think about one sentence or clause following this formula. So we have the example, I like it when someone gives me a compliment. Any other that you can think of? Open your mic or open your mic and share it with me. Maybe you want to write it down on your notes. I'll give you two minutes, and then you share one sentence. Hello? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, for example, uh, I don't like I don't like it when people aren't direct and don't say what is on their mind. Okay, when people are not direct, they can say. And they can say, um, they don't say things, maybe what? Um, face or... Uh, when they, are, they aren't direct about the things, like when say lies, for example. Oh, I or, see. Or say another thing and don't say the truth. Mm -hmm. I see your point. So that's basically uh, not being honest, uh, hiding that the, the truth. Okay, great. Uh, thank you so much for, for that participation, Gustavo. Reina says, I enjoy when someone studies with me. <laughs> that's a good one. I like it. Um, I enjoy it. Just write the it, uh, Reina. And then I like it when someone invites me to invites me to a cup of coffee i imagine right yeah that's really really like a pleasant uh, experience right what other uh, sentences you can think about guys with it and then when angie i don't like it when someone is too honest it hurts it's too honest it hurts mm -hmm. it hurts like it causes damage, it causes, you know, any, I don't know. Because I, I don't know if it's it hurts or it hurts. Something painful or I think it needs to be double check. Uh -huh. Like H-U-R-T, -E uh -huh. right? Hurts, no heart, yeah, okay, I see, no problem. Okay, so what are other ideas you can think about and share with me? Uh, I like it when someone cooks, <laughs> Evelyn, I can see, I imagine. Um, awesome, so this is, these are some examples that you can share. And those who haven't sent any example, why is it? Um, you just need to follow the formula and think about any idea, maybe a situation that you want to express uh, this topic is about expressing likes and dislikes and preferences. I like it when my students participate a lot. Let's see. Who else? Uh -huh. Me. Uh -huh. um... I like it when I find money on the street. <laughs> I like it when I won, when I win the lottery, right? Yeah, uh, that's a good one. I like it. I hate it. I don't mind. Let's do this because I see some examples already sent. And today's topic is about this and we have a reading. But first of all, let's focus on this topic because we didn't finish it. And what about, I'm gonna give you some time, maybe three minutes, do me a favor, 
let's uh, create sentences. And I want to expand a little bit more. Maybe this can help a little bit. Uh, we are going to use these expressions. So I know you already see them, you already saw them. Mm -hmm. I like it, I love it. I don't mind for neutral things and I don't like it, I can't stand it and I hate it for negative uh, feelings. But then let's think about First of all, about you, right? This is what, we're, what we have been doing. What about if we use this uh, about someone you know? For example, um, my mother hates it when I don't obey her. My best friend, um, what my best, my best friend uh, loves it when I call him or her. So think about, about someone. And then what about at work, okay? Any situation you can express about your work at home or even in your neighborhood. Maybe I can't stand it when my neighbor plays loud music, yes, you see? So let's start with the first one. Open your mic or these ones. This one is the first one. Well, someone you know. I want to read your examples. Come on, guys. Take some time. Practice these structures. About about someone we know. About, about someone you know. You can express okay. it. Uh -huh. I, I made one. It said, my sister hated when I go for pizza without her. My sister hates it, right? When I go for pizza without her. Okay, that's a good one. Hey, uh, I can't stand people who are Gustavo because people is plural. Uh, who are? I know some people who are shouting all the time. Who are? Okay, yeah, I see. I like it when when a maid to bring cookies for, for sharing, Gustavo. After four, you need to have ING for sharing or to share. Uh, I like it when a maid uh, bring cookies for sharing or to share at work. You can say coworker. So you don't say maid, more specific, coworker. I don't mind when the weather is cloudy. Does not change my good vibes. That doesn't change that does not change my goodbyes, okay? And try to use when and it, Angie. Uh, that's a good one, but I still want you to use this structure. I enjoy it when someone invites me to eat. Uh, yao, yao, I love these ice creams. They're really nice. I love them. I know. See, yao, yao, right? Um, okay. My friend likes Francisco, likes it when I play soccer with him. Yes, okay. What about at work? Let's take two minutes. At work, anything that you can stand, you hate, uh, you tell me about, you can tell me about at work. Open your mic if you wanna speak. Work. For example, I don't like it when my boss asks me to work overtime or extra hour. I don't know, just an idea. Think about one on your case. I got one teacher. Share it, please. Okay. Um, my boss likes it when we finish duties on time. That's a, that's a good one. I like it. I want to hear more ideas. There are many things to say. So thank you so much for sharing that. What else do you have? Anybody else, please, guys? I'm gonna share one that, that I can think about, about me, right? 
not this time because I, as of now I don't work in these companies anymore but then I remember that when I was working in these companies and uh, and I would say I like it when my boss gives me early out you know to leave early so what that's else that's a good one right he said really, okay you can leave early then wow and you won't have any discount that's it's a good one right anybody else well what else comes to your to your mind i have another one go ahead please i don't i don't mind it when my co-workers ask me for help that's a really good one. I don't mind it when my phone. Yeah, I like that that idea. Neutral, right? Okay. And what about the other ones that are connected? Let's say one more minute for work. I don't like it when my boss takes a meeting early. <laughs> okay, I, I I feel you. I think the same thing. I don't like meetings. I, sometimes they are just a waste of time. Emma says, oh, Francisco says, my supervisor hates it when, I, when the computer doesn't work. I imagine. I don't like it when my boss give, gives me extra document, gives me when I leave the office. <laughs> For you to complete them at home. Okay. All right. So let's take one minute, guys, for this option at home. What about at home? You're coexisting with others at home, family members. I love it when my mom cooks for me. I have one. Trina, go ahead. Uh, I hate it when someone takes my clothes. I imagine that's a really good one, right? Especially when you have siblings and, or maybe you place, I don't know, personal things, such place, and then when you look for them, they're not there. Where are my sandals? Where are my flip flops? I left my, I don't know, my charger here and it's not here and I want to charge my phone yeah okay good Emma there's one I don't like it when my boss you know this is M Evelyn I love it when my family comes to visit me you see so that means that Evelyn doesn't mean with doesn't live with uh, with her family I don't like it when my mom asks me to wash the dishes <laughs> okay you see these examples are really cool I like it when someone invites me to visit my family yes okay what else? I know you, you are very creative with these examples. Maybe we don't have to think that much out of the box. It's just something that we live like regularly. Right. I hate, I hate it when the internet, you know, gets slow. I, at home, of course, I hate it when I don't know when thinking about me. I hate it when my my car breaks down <laughs> like now. <laughs> okay. Um I hate it when my neighbors oh the next one, Hoya. I hate it when my neighbors don't dedicate <laughs> in my backyard. Okay. Okay, uh, that's a good one. Or I can see, you see, very good. I imagine that's really I don't know disgusting, especially if it's not your dog. Because if it's if it's your dog, you know, my brother loves loves pets, and he has um, two dogs. And I mean, it's not it's not that I hate animals, but then I just hate it when his dogs start you know, playing around in the house and he gets into my bed and, and he, you know, jumps in and he does a mess on it. So I hate it. Okay, let's see. 
I hate it when someone wakes me up. <laughs> when someone, that's a really good one, Evelyn. Uh, my father, he, he wakes up really early every day. My case, I do it not that frequently, maybe 5, 5.30, but my father wakes up maybe sometimes at 4, just to, you know, maybe do some stuff, uh, house work activities. And, and he sometimes wakes me up and I feel it. I love it when I cook to my family. Yeah, okay, for your kids, right, Angie? All right, one more. Maybe think about your neighbor. So what can you tell me about your neighbor? What kind of neighbors do you have? My neighbors. Think about examples with this, the structures. Thinking, thinking about at work, I didn't say it. I love it when it is payday. <laughs> okay, I think that's the day we all want. I hate it when my neighbor, uh -huh, Jose, um, well, I'm lucky. I don't have neighbors like, uh, well, Manta, my, um, I mean, then my neighbor is my my dad's home, so I don't have problems. But sure. sometimes when you live in a city, your neighbor is someone have, you don't know, huh? Go ahead. I have I have a question, teacher, for you. I'm not sure about one word in English. How do you say camion de la basura? Uh, I would say this is the way I would say it. There might be other ways, but I would say garbage collector. For me, that would garbage that would, collector. Garbage. Let me say it. I would say it this way. There might be, of course, other ways, but then the garbage, uh, the garbage collector. For me, you know, express the okay. idea. Okay. Or maybe trash collector. Can, can I say trash collector? Yeah. I mean, just what do you have? Can I say? Can I say what sentence using that word? Go ahead. Okay. I can stand it. It, when the trash collector make too much noise with the bell <laughs> ringing the bell uh -huh. yeah i hate ah. it i can't stand it i can see you just reminded me about one i hate it uh when the people i don't know all that track that is selling baseball you know, pass around my house and I'm teaching because I'm teaching other classes as well. And I'm teaching and this in a lot of like, la papa, la papa, you know, venga, venga, cerca, so, you know, I hate this. But then I, then I say, this is something normal. I can't control this. Uh, they're doing their job. They're making a living out of this. So I see your point, but I see. I, I hate it too. You're not <laughs> the only one. <laughs> right. Okay, good. I can see Jose sends one. He says, uh, I hate it when my neighbor, my neighbor listens to music too loud. Yeah, loud. That's especially if it's not the, the kind of music you like, right? And when you live in a city, and this is what happened, especially if you live in, a, I don't know, maybe, a, how do you call these places, La residenciales or, or and where the next neighbor, I mean, the neighbor next door is someone you don't know. And, you know, it can be very frustrating. Uh, let's see, Angie, I hate it when my neighbor makes uh, too loud at weekend. I can see she trying to rest and then uh, Gran Cumbion, you know, next door. Yeah, I can see. Um, and, well, here, just imagine these people, these people who live uh, where there is a church next door or across from any church and they start playing, uh, they make cultos and you I are hate Catholic, it too. When you are Catholic or you are, I don't know, I think, and sometimes I'm not against any religion, but uh, I think 
praying uh, should be something, I don't know, quiet, something just you with God, not shouting. I'm always against that because I do believe in God, of course. But then I can see sometimes people like, like I don't know, shouting. And I don't know, I really don't like that. I hate it when people pray out loud. I have a... Uh... I have a restaurant next to my door. That's why I say that. <laughs> I can see, you see. I, that's a, that's a, wow, that's really sad. I hate it when people talk while I'm eating, while eating, yeah, while they're eating, right? And you can see their food. That's disgusting, that's gross, okay? And like frijoles, oh, you know, chewed. <laughs> Okay, I can see. So there might be many other things to talk about using this structure, and that's why it's really useful. Now, um, let's uh, move on. Let's move on. We have one reading that I want to go over because I want to listen the way you read it. Read it. That's all. That's all I want. And maybe there, there might be some vocabulary that we might double check. But then the most important from this reading is that you will read it and you will pronounce it. This is the reading, but uh, I don't know if you can see it. If you already listened to it from the website, on the platform, awesome. But if you haven't, it's okay. So we, we are 12 connected, 13. Any volunteer to read only the first uh, paragraph? Raise your hand, please. One thing that I want to say, please try to exaggerate when pronouncing things, try to link word if you can, pay attention to the punctuation and exaggerate it, sounds and final endings. That's what I want to hear. So anybody? Okay, Joel, go ahead. Thank you so much. First paragraph. Okay. In 2010, the American Dialect Society to chose app as the word of the year. App is short for application. It is a program for an electronic device like a smartphone or a tablet computer. There are more than 4, 425,000 apps that can be downloaded for entertainment, shopping, sports, scores, and anything else you might be interested in. I like it. Really good, good pronunciation. Nothing, nothing, I would say, based on my experience, based on what I have heard, uh, I will pronounce it like that too. Good, good. What about second uh, text here? Anybody else? I would love to hear everybody. But then, uh, well, Emma, second one. Apps are so popular because they can be used almost anywhere. Commuting on a bus us waiting in a doctor's office or hanging out at the mall and all you need is in your smartphone you don't need to log into your computer or into a website you don't have to stand up your video game console you don't even need a wi-fi connection you see i like it i like it too very good very good pronunciation Thank you so much, Emma and Joel. Good job, guys, on this, okay? Let's listen to next next one. I saw two other hands up. Let me see who are they. Uh, Angie's here. Angie, your turn. Read the next paragraph. Most smartphones. Most uh, smartphones can hold hundreds of uh, apps, and you can use more than one app at a time. For instance, you can use a navigation app to find a new restaurant, a dining app to look at the restaurant's menu, and a, a weather forecast app to decide what to wear to the restaurant, all at the same time. Nice, lovely, very good. Nice, I think we don't have to spend much time on this. You're doing really good. And the last but not the least, anybody? Finish it. Okay, me. Thank you, go ahead. Um, one of the most popular apps, Angry Beard, has been downloaded 
by more than 10 million people. In 2010, this app was played to 200, 200 million minutes daily by app user. 1.2 billion hours a year. The Apple Store began selling apps in 2008 with nearly 1 billion sold. In 2010, nearly 3 billion apps were sold at an average price of $2.13. Not only are apps popular, they are also profitable. Okay, thank you so much. Um, really quick observations in here. Uh, downloaded, that this is its pronunciation. Uh, I know you might know this already. However, we just need to uh, watch out on the final sounds and this is it. I didn't hear it clearly, but then we wanna say Angry Birds has been downloaded, downloaded. And then I want to say that this little point in here, we say point, we don't say that because it's an amount. So in this case for amount, we don't say, we don't say that, okay? That it can be used maybe in websites or maybe in other context, but this one is point. Uh, let's see, and then selling, I don't know, but I heard, and I wanna be very honest, I heard C, and I didn't, didn't hear say, so this is selling, I heard ceiling, kind of like uh, the ceiling roof, and then I this is selling, and then I don't I heard something different, but this is near e e long sound nearly e nearly one million sold, and then once again this this is two point thirteen um, dollars. No one this is not to that. Okay, and then this word is profitable, profit, profitable or profitable. I like when you sound, when you make this sound as an R sound, profitable. Profitable, 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 profitable. So if you can say profitable with R, profitable, it'll be better. It sounds like more American accents like, and that's basically it. So guys, um, this is, just a simple reading, but there are many things and interesting things. Now, my question is, what's your impression about maybe the last paragraph, the one uh, read by I think was Gustavo, right? So what's your impression about this last paragraph? Give me some ideas. I know it's easy to understand for you guys, but so tell me, any idea that you can think about? I have time for two or three participations. Have you downloaded this app? Have you played with it? Imagine you designing or creating an app like this and then all of a sudden you make this money. So what's your I want to say something. Uh -huh. Please. Uh, I was just thinking that it's so crazy about Angry Bears because it's a silly app. It's very, you know, it's just a, a game for kids and it's crazy how that application has, has so, so many uh, millions of dollars and downloaded by a lot of people. It's crazy to think about this uh, market in, you know, new platforms, digital market. It's really crazy to think about it. Exactly, new era. And like Facebook, maybe you have heard this is nothing new, but then Facebook, the way it started, right? How this guy, the, its creator, started designing this out only for themselves in their campus or, or their university. And now, wow, this is just, you know, tremendous how it has, you know, I don't know, uh, progress, right? So it's incredible. 
So maybe you, you give me the next one, creating an app, and then we're going to be using it. And you're going to be the next rich person. You never know. Okay, anybody, anybody else, any other impression about this? I, someone in this room is, uh, is a businesswoman. Someone in this room. So what do you think? Let's see if, he, if she's connected. I don't see her today. <laughs> yeah, interesting. Okay, uh, well, we have 20 minutes. And when you finish reading this text, in your, maybe in your platform, you have seen that there are some questions. And just go, go over this, read this text again, and then try to complete it. If you have done it already, that's perfectly fine. So next step, please, uh, from this paragraph, guys, uh, choose five words. You might, I don't know, need to practice again, or you might need to double check the meaning or the pronunciation, only five. But if you say no, teacher, I know all of them, fine. But I'm gonna give you two minutes for this activity. The reason is because there's always something that we can improve and, and from any reading, or if you maybe already know everything about it, use one of the words that you might feel like uh, can be a little bit challenging and you sit in a sentence. So I'll give you two minutes, make your own vocabulary list. Two minutes for this. Let me share it once again so you can see it. Hold on. Hold on. I still love you. Hold on. Hold on. I like this song. Okay. Two minutes. No more. Okay, so time is up. Can you share with me one word that you're going to, or that you have uh, written it down on your uh, vocabulary list? Any, anybody? Or try to use it in a sentence. Whatever word comes to you, I mean, from this reading. Okay, I think I have a message. Profitable. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you use it in a sentence, Angie? What is that, teacher? Profitable. Profitable. What is that? Profit. Do you know what profit is? When you have a business and then uh, you make a lot of income from this business. So that's profit. Profitable, it's only the adjective, okay, for this. When, when something is profitable, it gives you money, you know. You make income from this. It's, you know, um, it has it, its revenue. You make money. Aha. Uh -huh. That's so profit. It, it, profit is like success, talking Not, about money in a... It is success, it is success, but talking about money, but then uh, depends because profit is the money you make out of 
uh, you know, a business or about something that you're working with, that's the, the profit. Profit means the money you make after you have paid all, all the expenses, that's the, that's the money. Okay, profit. thank you. Right. Okay, instance. Then um, I would say, Jeffrey, you say, for instance, I love this phrase. Instead of saying, for example, all the time, say for instance, sounds more, uh, I would say formal, as if you don't use, that's not basic because you say, uh, you instead of saying, for example, all the time, you say, for instance, it's a really good one. Forecast, very good. Nice. Well, guys, let's move on. And I'm going to give you this time, five minutes for the next activity. And this is the following. Take two minutes to investigate on your devices what type of personalities are there. And I want you to choose only one, the one you feel more identified with and describe it. So this time you will need to use your phone, okay, or your computer and investigate what type of personalities are there. Okay, this is uh, based on the platform. So take five minutes or less. When you have it ready, let me know. So then choose one. Five minutes, go ahead, please. Get ready to participate. You have your answer or your ideas, please let me know. Because we don't have much time, please.
Okay, let's take one last minute for this. Whatever you have found, please get ready to share. Okay, guys, how are you doing? Do you have anything ready? Have you found anything? Let's see, we have Jose Peña. Okay. We have, this is openness or openings. Uh, consciousness, consciousness, extraversion, agree, agreeableness, and neuroticism. neuroticism. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I want to show you guys uh, some of the personality types we uh, find on the, um, I can see, okay, very good. Uh, Gustavo has shared some other things. Now, um, we, look at this one. I'm gonna show you this and then I'm gonna give you some time because I want you to, this is what we find on the, on the video, right? This is on the chat. This is on the platform, okay? And uh, if you watch the video on the platform, we have six type of personalities, artistics, conventional, enterprise, pricing, investig investigative, and realistic and social, right? Uh, so these are the six one we have on the video. I can see you found something quite different, but it's totally fine. And then I'm gonna give you some time for you to share with your partner what you have found, but I want you to try to explain things in your own words. So based on what I found, I think there are these type of personalities and this is the one I like the most, or this is the one I feel more identified with. I'm gonna give you only two minutes. If your partner is not talking, please come back to, to the main session because I'm gonna be here you know, waiting for you to participate and share with me what you have found. But please, if, I, if we do it like one, or if we do it like in here, like everybody participating, we won't have enough time. So I'd rather do it this way. So go ahead and, and talk to your, your partners in pairs and then I'll, um, you know, bring you guys back to the main session. Two minutes only. Here we go.
Okay, I think some of you didn't have partner. I don't know why I feel this. And because I saw some of you stayed here in the main room. Still, I want, Jeffrey says, teacher, I can't use my mic. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see. So um, I don't know if you could share what you investigated about type of personalities. But then I would love to hear some opinions about type of personalities. So who wants to um, paraphrase what you understood in this short time about personality? Anybody? We have like one or two minutes for, for this. Please open your mic and share whatever you have found, but try to paraphrase it. That's the challenge or that's the idea. Me teacher. Okay, thank you, Joel. Go ahead, please share. Okay, Google Google said that artistic people personal personality they uh, always use their hands and their mind to create new themes. Okay, and do you consider like this personality, Joel, or me? More, uh huh. A little bit, a little bit, because when I was uh, deciding which major to study at university, I was, uh, you know, uh, thinking about uh, choose an artistic career, but at the end, I didn't do it. But maybe, maybe, maybe in another life. <laughs> in the other life, okay. I can see, we never, we don't know what's next, <laughs> right? Nobody, nobody who, who has died, you know, has ever returned to tell us what's on the next, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's right. So we don't know what's next. Okay, I see. Good, artistic, right? Mm -hmm. um, so what, what do you study? Do you study different career, different major? Yeah, I, I did one year in economy and then I moved to languages. I see. So you know other languages? A little bit of Fran Fran Frances, French. Okay, you know. I, I only know how to eat it, but then, okay, interesting. Oh, well, I didn't know that. It's delicious, oh. <laughs> frijoles. With beans, right? With beans, with fried beans and a little bit of cheese. Well, guys, thank you so much for sharing. Um, thank you for your participation. I know sometimes we, we don't feel like getting really into the things, but this topic is so interesting. Even there is a test I found on the net I won't share it because I'm not allowed to share any third party content in here. But then if you really take a deep, uh, maybe research, you'll, found, you'll find a, a test for personality type. I took it already. And it's really cool to read about uh, ourselves and to get to know a little bit more about us. Well, thank you so much for um, sharing. Thank you so much for your participation. I'm going to finish this session by reading Angie's comment. Artistic, conventional, enterprise, extensive, realistic, social, I think I have personality. Okay, you have a bland personality. Okay, interesting. Well, thank you so much, guys. Uh, take care, see you tomorrow. We are having classes on Friday, by the way, to make the uh, class we, uh, we didn't have on Friday, previous Friday. Take care and God bless you and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. Have a good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. You too. You too.